current progress in information technologies and communication is changing the way we live, how we work and do business, how we raise our children, study and conduct research, and how we are amused. We can now use uh, ICTs to travel beyond national boundaries to gain instant access to multimedia sources in almost any country. Efficient, widespread and continuous public communication is an important condition for democratic uh, governance. Information technology has a significant impact on that. Social communication provides a basis for bringing various communities and social groups uh, together in their resolve to build new societies. It can create uh, ties between political, religious, traditional and community leaders along with uh, uh, citizens and uh, it can uh, build bridges between communities and uh, across uh, generations. All of this is thanks to progress of uh, information society. It is not only affecting the way people interact, but it's also requiring the traditional organizational structures to be more flexible, more de decentralized and democratic in order to involve more citizens. Three important terms symbolize the modern world, data, information and knowledge. They all are linked to information technology. The information society's developments in information technology have influenced a broad group of people in their common traditions, institutions and or uh, collective activities. The definitions of information society may emphasize completely different aspects of it. However, one of the dimensions of the phenomena of information and knowledge is a central element of organization. In the context of this course, I would like to stress that we are deal with information society as a society characterized by a high level of information intensity in the everyday life of most citizens, in most organizations and workplaces as well. Also today we are asking how is technology affecting society, in what major ways did technology change society. It should be said that uh, information society uh, is more a social matter, not uh, a technical or commercial one. It is obvious that ICT use uh, should lead uh, po positive social transformations. Although we are very focused on information societies, it is important to promote the concept of knowledge societies as well, since enhancing information flows alone is not sufficient to grasp the opportunities for development that knowledge can offer us. In knowledge societies, access to a public domain and information and knowledge for educational and cultural purposes should be as broad as possible, providing high quality, diversified and reliable information. This emphasis should be given to a diversity of cultures and languages. The main challenges uh, posed by the construction of knowledge societies can be divided into these questions. First, how to narrow a digital divide that uh, highlights the differences in development, excluding entire groups and countries from the benefits of information and knowledge. Second, how to guarantee the fee flow of and fair access to the data, information, best practices and knowledge in our society. And finally, how to build international ground and consensus of newly required norms and principles and, and scale them around. Knowledge society should be firmly based on commitment to human rights and fundamental freedoms, including freedom of expression. They should also ensure the full realization of the right to education and of all cultural rights. All of this plays a very important part in information society. Modern technologies are not merely tools, they also inform and shape our modes of communication, as well as the processes of our thinking and our creativity. This is seen as a major advantage by those who believe in open societies with diverse communication and information sources. However, the banning or restriction of traditional printed information or terrestrial broadcast channels could be implemented relatively easily by na national governments. A number of countries have taken such actions, for instance by filtering internet content, 
limiting or banning the use of uh, particular browsers or blocking satellite TV channels. There are many questions uh, that need to be considered, uh, such as how can we ensure access for all these information and intellectual resources and overcome the social, cultural and linguistic obstacles? How should we introduce the main principles of information society? How should we promote the publications online uh, of increasingly more uh, diverse contents, potentially a source of enrichment for everyone? How can uh, we implement uh, these new means of communication and how to engage people? These are crucial questions to which answer must be found while implementing information societies technologies in reality and offer worldwide space for interaction and exchange. This is something that the actors of development of these technologies such as states, private enterprise and civil society must answer together. The growth of global electronic links opened by ICTs has added an important new dimension to traditional concerns about who controls or frees the content and access to communication and information channel. It should be admitted that the changes in access enabled by these new digital choices challenge fundamental social and political notions of freedom control, personal responsibility and shared community values. To conclude, information society principles have been a basis and driving factor that brought us into today's technological world. Uh, one without boundaries uh, or information restriction. In the context of governance, it gives an opportunity for open government as well as invisible governance to take place, where all services could be consumable in a proactive way. Access to information is granted and you can be online sharing information in any access point in the world. Thank you for your time and see you next time.